betray me because I know y'all like to tussle, especially when I back up men. But there's this one expression that just sits underneath my skin. Don't do wife duties at girlfriend prices. No one told you to do his laundry on a day-to-day -day basis. No one told you to clean his house on a day-to-day -day basis. No one told you to do the grocery shopping. No one told you to do none of that. No one told you to operate his business. None of that. But y'all run into cohabitation and then expect not to do anything in return? Y'all know cohabitation often kills a man's motivation to marry, right? Doesn't he have to show you that he's worthy of being your husband? Don't get me wrong. Yes, he should allow you to rest in your femininity. Yes, he should continue to pursue you. Yes, he should be consistent. Yes, he should still display wise leadership skills. But aren't those husband duties at boyfriend prices? You have to offer something. You have to show something. You have to offer love that's not limited to sex and simple dates and... Shalawam. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kwadash. The learners unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'm learning this truth. Shalawam to the Akiyam pushing this truth in our sincerity and honesty to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Barakia. And I'm basically, I was, you know, I wanted to do a reaction, you know, not, not really a real reaction, but like a, um, you know, just like a feedback from this video, you know. And um, I, I wanted to watch most of it first before I say anything, but I'm going to cut in there. Now, this woman, right, is basically speaking on these modern day women today, man, you know. Like, they, 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 want, they want to exclude themselves from being wives and doing their wife duties, but expect a man to do the same thing right and at the end of the day man a real man is not going to wife up a woman that's not going to do her wife duties now man and woman has a role in a in a marriage in a relationship okay and yeah how about she was shy the heavenly father right set those um, 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 um set those roles man you know that's how the most i set it up to be man so when these women want to go off and do their own thing and don't want to prove you know, that they, they, they got wife um, um, and qualities, then they're going against the scriptures, man. And a lot of these are, are these so-called -cool Christians and other that, that claim that they, they love God, man. You know? Anyway, let me continue. Just the ear to listen. And I hear this often coming from single mothers. But you want him to stand in place of that biological father that's absent. And you want him to create stability and structure within a household and care for the kids. But isn't that a husband duty? So if we're going to use the sentiment of not doing wife duties at girlfriend prices, then we're going to use the sentiment of not doing husband duties at boyfriend prices. But women, you're not going to like that. Paying bills is a husband duty. Protecting you is a husband duty. Accepting your faults is a husband duty. Men don't have to be the head of their household and your household. Mm -mm. No in sickness and in health. If you get sick, ladies, that's on you. Now you see the thing is yeah, it's the double. St you see the thing is it's a double standard in this in, in this modern society, right? This modern society um caters to women, right? So women can go off and do what, whatever they want to do, right? And not do you know, that you know what doing what they're supposed to do, like being a good wife, you know, being a good wife to their husband, being a good mother to their children. They rather go off, go off and be hoes and harlots and whatever. And then this society praise them for such behaviors. Okay? Which goes against the scriptures, man. Right? This behavior goes against the scriptures, man, because of this kingdom. It was prophesied in, 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 um, in, in, the, in the scriptures that a woman shall come past a man. Right? Because women's, everything, everything that goes against the scriptures that woman does is get praised, man. But the minute a man does, you know, a man doesn't do his his role as a man, right? He gets um 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 um, um crucified, man. He gets um, um um cursed out, and that's how it goes to show, man. This place is completely backwards, man, and it's all this feminism feminism bullshit. You know, sorry for my French, it's running rampant throughout this kingdom, man, and it's all gonna come to an end soon, man. You yeah. don't want to do anything that's considered a wife duty, but you want him to do everything that's considered a husband duty. That's what these women are today, man. They don't want to do nothing that they're supposed to do. They see it as, oh, are they being slaves or or they being um, 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 oppressed as women? Women are being oppressed, right? But no one thinks about what hardships men have to go through, man. 
and 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 they think it's just normal simple things man and they want to be the one in charge and rule everything man sit down and look pretty right and not do what's supposed to do man you know most of these women nowadays can't cook man can't even cook can't even clean you know, can't even do nothing. Don't even know how to take care of a home, man. Okay? You go to some of these women houses, you, you know, like, wow, this is how you keep your house and you're meant to be a woman, right? Then you'll be a terrible wife. And I've seen it before, man. Go to little women's houses and you, you, just by them living on their own and you can tell that they will be a terrible wife. You know, when it comes to taking care of the household. Now, women taking care of the household is, is, is scriptural, man. Anyway, let me carry on. And boyfriend prices. Y'all know men have options. <laughs> you do know there's a process of elimination when it comes to finding a wife, right? Just like you want to be able to see okay, the qualities me, that he possessed to be able to become your husband. He so I'm gonna, to that. I'm going to get the second. I'm going to get the second um, woman now because she's going on for a bit too long. Before they decide to initiate marriage. And cool. But don't expect your boyfriend to do husband things at a boyfriend level. Oh, Y'all are wife duties at a girlfriend level cool i'm not saying it just understand that men do pay attention to that before they decide to initiate marriage and engagement with you if you don't want to do wife duties at a girlfriend level cool but don't expect your boyfriend to do husband things at a boyfriend level y'all are expecting for y'all boyfriends to come through for y'all financially but y'all don't even want to cook him a meal so if you're going to have the, I'm only doing girlfriend things as a girlfriend, don't get mad at your boyfriend for doing only boyfriend things as a boyfriend. Don't require anything more from him besides dates and sex. Now, this second woman basically, you know, reiterating the same thing, but, you know, as men, we understand that we need to be men, okay? So even though she's saying that, you know, women should expect, you know, you know, my, men to do what they're supposed to do as men when it comes to the whole marriage relationship type thing, right? Um, I'm not going to say that, man. I, I I will still, you know, say to men to do your duties, do your diligent do as a man because that's what the Lord wants us to do. But at the end of the day, man, we need to choose our woman wisely, okay? we It's our job to look for women, right, who, who are capable of being good wives, now, I'm going to get this, um, some scriptures now because you know, I'm about seven minutes in and I just want to get some precepts. Okay, so um, so the first uh, precept I'm going to get is um, Proverbs um, 31 verses 10 um, to 11. Okay, um, bear with me. This is Proverbs 31, verses 10, right? Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? So a virtuous woman in the sight of the most high is, 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 is valuable, man. Okay? Verse 11. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that she shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Okay, so at the end of the day, man, a woman, a, a virtuous woman, is, is is far above rubies, man, to the heavenly Father, man, you know, and 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 you know, a man being with a virtuous woman will have peace in his life. Okay, now these modern day women, they don't bring peace, man. All they bring is is confrontation and hardship. That's why a lot of lot of um Jake women, man, especially Jake women, man, you know, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, man. We're under the, the curses, man, you know, and that's why a lot of um. It's like women, man, are single today, man. Single, single parents in that, man. You know, because they don't know how to keep a house, man. They don't, have, they don't know how to be a good wife. You know, and a real man, you know, ain't gonna stand around. You know, um, ain't gonna stand around these type of women, man. You know, simps would. You know, weak ass men will, man. But true men ain't gonna do that, man. You know, we want to find a woman that's that's going to, um, you know, benefit us, man. You know, so not to derail us spiritually as well. Because a good wife, you know, shouldn't be derailing her man spiritually, man. Especially when he's trying to chase the truth. Right? Um, trying to get uh, another precept. I'm going to get um, 1 Timothy 5. Uh, 1 Timothy 5, verses um, 14. And it reads, 
I will there I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house. Guide the house. So what did he say? But the um I will therefore that the younger woman marry. So a lot of these women say, oh no, I, I want to stay single until I'm, you know, I want to live my life. You want to go on holidays and, and, and go to Dubai and have sex with one bugger different man, one bugger different rich man, and let them shit on you and piss on you and all of these things. Sorry for my French. You don't want to go out and have um, um, a million sex partners and whatever, right? A, a woman's role, a woman's duty is to her husband, man. You know, that's what woman was created for, to serve her husband, man. You know, but women want to go out there and, and live um, lives of a harlot, man. But what did he say? I therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house. A woman's job is for the house, to take care of the house. So a lot of these women can't cook, can't clean, can't take care of a house, can't take care of a man, right? Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. reproachfully. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to get... um. Ephesians 5 verses 22. I'm just going to get some precepts and then I'm going to close out. You know, um, Ephesians 5 verses 22 and it reads, um, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Right? So women should submit to their husband, man. But look, these women don't want to submit, man. These modern women, as soon as they hear the word submit, right, they think it's some some crazy thing, but they don't even understand that submission to your man is pleasing in the sight of the most high, man. You know, it's pleasing to the sight of the most high. And I'm talking to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. This goes out to you, man, because we're the true Israelites. So this goes out to you, okay? Um, it says, um, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Yahweh Shai is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. Right? Therefore, as the church is subject unto Yahweh Shai Mashiach, so let the wives be to their husbands in everything. Okay? So, husbands, right, should understand that your wives is subject unto you, man. You shouldn't be subject unto your wife. So, at the end of the day, man, you know, we shouldn't we shouldn't be, you know, with women, man, that, that don't know their duties as a wife, man. Right? I'm going to get um, 1 Corinthians um, 7. Um, so, lucky, yeah, bear with me. Um, 1 Corinthians 7. I'm going to start from verses um, 3. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband, right? Um, the wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. Now, a lot of people will hear this and think, oh my days, oh my days. What is that going into? I'll read that again, right? It says, the wife hath no power of her own body, but the husband. So that's clearly going into the fact, right, that, for example, right, the scripture says um, a woman should serve a man, man. You know, um, 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 you know, woman was made as a help me unto a man. So at the end of the day, man, woman, a, 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 a woman should understand that they should fulfill their needs of a man. Now, one of man's greatest needs that needs to be fulfilled is sex. Sex. Men have a very high sex drive compared to women, right? So at the end of the day, man, when he, when your husband, when your man wants it, give it to him. The scripture says it. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. So if your husband wants it, give it to him. Right? It's not hard. Give it to him. Because guess what? When your man go and get another girl to give it to him now, you're going to be like, Oh, you're, you're a waste, man. And we understand, right? Um, 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 and that, you know, the man can have more than one wife. Right? But at the end of the day, man, you know, you know, in today's society, you know, they say, you know, man is supposed to have one woman. So if, if, if a man chooses to be with you alone, right, that in himself, you, you're, 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 you're lucky. You know, 
you're not the don't have to use the word lucky but you're fortunate to have a man that's willing to stay with you alone so if he wants the the the, the, the pum pum give him the pum pum because when he goes out and gets it because you're in your modern day state of mind you're gonna get upset and call him a cheater and a liar and spread his name, you know, uh, um, um, one billion negative ways. But when he went in the tuntun from you, his woman, you didn't want to give it to him, right? It says, the wife has not power of her own body, but the husband, and likewise also the husband has not power of his own body, but the wife. Now we know, now we know, man, that hey, if if the woman, um, if your woman comes and says she wants tuntun, right, you're gonna give it to her. Unless it's under different circumstances, like, you know, it's not on the Sabbath. We understand that, you know, we shouldn't have sex on the Sabbath, right? And, you know, certain other, um, um, certain other, um, you know, what's, what's the word? Um, certain other things that, you know, you know, we know that we shouldn't have sex for, right? But come on, man. Like, you know that if, it, if a woman wants to give it to, to, to the man, the man's going to do that, man, right? The man's going to be like, yeah. Right, because men's always want sex, man. You know, so it says the wife has not part of her own body. But a lot of these women want to refuse their man, you know, and then man gets upset and the man gets this and his, his sexual hazards, you know, is really um, tearing them apart. So man's suffering because of you, nah, man. You know, um, First Peter three verse seven. First Peter. This is first first Peter three verse seven. Likewise ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honour unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. What did he say? Right? The women are weaker vessel, but still say we should give honour unto the wife. So I guess what our duties as a man should not change, man. Right? Our duty as a man is, is to, to protect the family, to defend the family family from harm and danger, right? To go out to be the breadwinner, right? To be the breadwinner for the family, you know, take care of the family, you know, in, 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 a, in a more masculine way, man. Guess what? A lot of these women are masculine now, so they want to go out and they want to work and whatever. Now, they use us as an excuse. Like, oh, I'm going out and I'm working. So, you know, I don't I don't want to have to do my, my, my making excuse that like, because, because they're working now, they don't have to necessarily do what they need to do, you know, for the house as a woman. As a wife, sorry, right? But guess what? You're doing what the man's supposed to do on your own accord, okay? So at the end of the day, man, hey, you can't you can't absolve yourself of your responsibilities, man, because the Yahweh Bashim Shai set it up that way, man, okay? Submit to your husband, serve your husband, man. You know, that's what, you know, we were commanded to do, right? But guess what? The woman you know, of today, through feminism, has gone off, and done their own thing, man, you know, and then expect, you know, a real man to follow their lead. It doesn't work like that. You know, it does not work like that at all. You know. So, um, let me see. I want to get one more preset. And then I'm going to close, close it off. Um, let's see. So this is Titus 2 verses um Titus 2 verses 5. It says um to be discreet, chaste keepers at home. Right? Wait, let me go up a further. Um verses 3. This is Titus 2 verses 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving much to wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, not be no drink, don't be no drunk, not going party every night, trying to get drunk and lick off your head, right? To love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, right? Keepers at home, right? You know, a wife's duty is to keep the home, man, in order. That's the wife's duty according to the scriptures. Good, obedient to their own husbands. But guess what? Nowadays in today's society, right, 
men are men are um at the bottom and women are at the top man because i had this whole fe feminism thing man women have all leeway in this kingdom man the scripture says it man a woman shall come past a man you know and just paraphrasing man you know he says that the word of the most High be not blasphemed so if woman goes against what the scripture says you blaspheme in the word of the lord man right do you not not wanting to do your duty as a wife is blaspheming the word of the lord so this is what these modern women need to understand but they will get it when push come to shove man when things start getting out of hand man guess what now they're going to be looking for the leadership of a man now they want to be under a man but guess what you know the real men of you know the elect of yahweh the chosen men of israel right we, 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 we wouldn't be now be having a choices now like, yep no you no you no you yep you know through the spirit and power of your how about shy lord willing man because we can't boast and, and brag man we don't know if we'll be of the elect but we hope we are lord willing man you know so i'm gonna end it here man with that i'm gonna say our oh, praises to your how about shimmy our shy kakwadash double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone until next time i'm gonna say shalom